Hey everybody, it's Meredith. Um, I have a video here for you and uh, I guess it's better late than never, right? I actually don't have a ton of stuff to talk about. Um, I will say first off that I'm really happy about all the feedback that I've gotten from my last video when I was talking about foundation reviews. There was so much discussion and I really appreciated all the comments and um, if you want me to talk more about those types of things because I feel like those are topics that can generate a lot of discussion then uh, let me know and I'm happy to talk about them because I have so many other things that I can say <laughs> about the world of YouTube. Also please excuse my face I have sprouted some I guess what we could call them face demons to borrow a term from um, the infamous graveyard girl. So I'm working on those. Uh, I guess it doesn't help that I've just been sitting there picking at it. Um, it would probably be much less, but for all of you th that think I have flawless skin all the time, here we go. I do not. So <laughs> I'll get right to it. I did purchase some items. A lot of these items are not makeup or beauty related. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Some of them are from the dollar store, some of them are from Bed Bath & Beyond, some of them are from Walmart. I could go on and on and on. So um, I got these from the Dollar Tree today actually. These are the slip-on socks and these are the ones that you wear with your flats that kind of have that, they, they kind of hide. It looks like you're wearing a stocking but you're not actually wearing a stocking. So I want to start wearing these because I want to wear my flats and I don't want to wear um, a knee high or pantyhose as it gets warmer. When I was in bath, Bed Bath & Beyond, I found uh, one of these makeup remover cloths and this one's called the Wonder Cloth. And um, I'm interested to try it. I may try it tonight since I still have my makeup on, but it's got a really interesting texture. Um, I have not seen the makeup eraser. Don't know. I know people were saying they had it in Walmart, but that was in the US. I don't know if we have that up here. I haven't seen it. If you do live in Canada and you have seen the makeup eraser, which I believe is pink, or maybe, um, let me know where you've seen it because I would like to try to pick it up. Need some band aids? Got them at Dollar Tree. Um, I am a huge fan of the wax burners. Uh, they're known in the States under a brand name of Scentsy. I have a couple of Scentsy burners, but I also have several Better Homes and Garden uh, warmers, which I got from the U.S. and Walmart. We don't have the Better Homes and Gardens ones up here in Canada. We do have one, I believe they're called Sensationals. Yeah, Sensationals. And Sensationals also makes wax cubes. So when I see new um, fragrances that I haven't seen before, I do purchase them. So I got Cherry Berry and lemongrass mint and they smell pretty darn good then from the dollar tree i saw other people in the u.s hauling these um scarves and i have one it has this kind of thinner piece that goes around the back and then it's thicker in the front and i actually have one from lululemon that's made like that haven't seen them at lululemon anymore um, probably a good thing because I'm sure the ones at Lululemon cost more than a dollar, which is how much this one cost me. I like to use these because they don't um, kind of make the dent in the front of my hair and I use them when I'm washing my face um, at night and in the morning. The other things, let's see, when I was at the face shop, which is a Korean um, kind of skincare and makeup store here um, I found this cute little uh, lip balm and it's called dessert lip balm and it kind of looks like a some kind of dessert item and you flip it open and it's got like a little honey honey contraption I don't know what you call it. that's what you use to pick up honey when you're putting it in tea or you want to drizzle it and you take this out and then you unscrew this and there is your lip balm and you use the applicator to apply it and I thought that was just darling I want to go and get some more they have I think two other kinds but I thought you know what let me get this one first because it's pretty cool then I uh, was listening to someone here on YouTube and her name escapes me right now and if I go back and look I'll try to link her in the description bar she was talking about the aluminum free uh, soft and dry this is deodorant and it says deodorant only so went ahead and picked that up 
pretty good price too. Then um, when I was in Walmart, I ended up getting the Milani Powder Blush in Tea Rose something I've kind of always wanted. The other one was that brighter kind of coral color. I don't think they had the bright pink one, but I wasn't interested in that. Then um, I saw these neon highlighters, but they look like, like lip gloss tubes. And I thought these were really cool. These were not in Walmart. These were at a little uh, kind of stationary store. Um, in downtown Toronto, I was at an event downtown in downtown Toronto. And if you follow me on Instagram, it was a cooking class with Canadian cheese. And this kind of store was outside down the street from where that event was held. And yes, the event was fun. And yes, my food was delicious. Uh, from the Dollar Tree, I ended up getting some mechanical pencils and some um, scented gel pens, which I absolutely love. I already have these. I'm already out of the purple one. The pink one will be next and the blue one will be last. And they do smell quite nicely. They write well too. And then finally, I got some from the Dollar Tree. I got some uh, Cook Chef stickers to put in my Smashbook for um, today's event because I am going to print out some pictures. And then I also got some ballpoint pens from this little stationery uh, store in some brilliant ink colors. And I've had these before. These are actually out of Germany, and I really like these. These are high-quality pens. I could have stayed in that stationery store forever. So, um, yeah, that's really it. Nothing really groundbreaking, but I hope you've all had a good week and uh, let me know what you've been up to. And if you'd like me to do a video on anything in particular, something that generates more discussion, discussion perhaps. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.